Hello, I wanted to do a video on clothespins and my favorite clothespins and um, kind of also a review on some new clothespins I'm trying out. So here is a handful, a couple handfuls of my current clothespin selection. Now I dry clothes year round. We live in Pennsylvania. In the winter, I hang them in my basement. I have a long, a couple long lines in my basement and some drying racks that I use. And during the warmer months, spring, fall, summer, I hang things outside. So I use clothespins year round. They're heavily used. Uh, they get sun exposure and um, yeah, I, I have opinions on clothespins. So, <laughs> okay. Now these here, these are Ikea clothespins. These are the cat's meow folks. I absolutely love these clothespins. Now, I have not been able to get these for a couple years. So Ikea, if you see this video, please, please, please make your clothespins again. These are the best. These are about five years old. They have no um, sun damage. The plastic is still strong. The spring here is still strong. They hold clothing really nice and Actually, my favorite thing about these is the slim design. When I first purchased these, I only bought one pack because I was hesitant. I thought, oh, these are kind of flimsy. I don't know how they're gonna hold up. And I soon found out how wonderful they were. I went back and bought several more packs. Um, got some for my family and friends that also line dry their clothing. And um, everybody loves them. Okay, so these are five years old. These are also about five years old. These are Walmart variety, and you can see the plastic is deteriorating. The sun has made the plastic brittle, and they're just falling apart. Um, the plastic where it has broken is sharp, um, and you can see these are a larger clothespin. They're, they're kind of bulky in comparison to these little Ikea ones. Now, what I have learned with these slim Ikea clothespins is that I can hold a bunch of them in my hand and I can, you know, make sure they're all the same direction. I can hang clothes very quickly, a whole handful. But these larger bulky ones, I can't hold that many in my hand. And that's one of my favorite things about these Ikea clothespins, in addition to their durability, you know. Um, but these I have not been able to get. And so I had to take to Amazon. I didn't want any more of the Walmart variety. Now I have some newer Walmart clothespins. These are probably two years old. Same basic style. I mean, they've made a couple little changes, but you can see they're basically the same clothespin. And I imagine that before long, they're gonna follow suit and start becoming brittle and falling apart. So I know that these Ikea clothespins are at least good for five years and they're still ticking. There's no sign of wear, wear out on these. So I also have these. I have no idea where these came from. These are a large clothespin. They do the job well, no signs of wearing out. But again, these are extremely bulky and I can't get many in my hand. I can really only put maybe two of these in my hand and that's just not very efficient for me. So I don't really care for these. And then these are a really old school clothespin, very flimsy. I have no idea how I wound up with this clothespin. It's very small, but it is it is flimsy and um, it doesn't really hold the clothing on real well. And these are also a common, common clothespin you can get different places. Ooh, watch your fingers. There you go. So I took to Amazon to try to find, well, first off, I thought maybe someone will be selling some Ikea clothespins on Amazon. I'll be able to get them. No such luck. So I got a few different kinds, or I got two different kinds of clothespins on Amazon. I thought I'd share those with you. I'll link 
uh, the product in the description and it'll kind of give you a little insight on how they are and what I think of them if you're in the same clothespin situation I'm in. So here is one of the varieties I purchased. <clears throat> you can see these are called stainless steel clothespin by Froman. It's a 30 pack. They're two inches in size. These were $14.40. I bought two packs of these. Um, these are pretty good reviews. Um, the reason, so you get you get a purple, which is pretty. It's kind of got a little bit of metallic shimmer to it. And you get 10 pink. And you get 10 of like a metallic gold color. Um, so the reason I decided to try these was because one of the major problems with clothespins for me is the sun deteriorating the plastic. And I figured with these, I wouldn't have that to worry about. Um, which is what some of the reviews said. Now they are plastic coated here on the tip, so you don't have to worry about, you know, it being hot to your finger or, you know, cutting your finger. And then they're also plastic coated here on the bottom. So you don't have to worry about damaging clothing. These are, I mean, they're a little tough to open. It's gonna be an adjustment getting used to these. They're also a lot smaller. So there's a comparison, okay? This is the Ikea clothespin and these little metal clothespins. And then there's the Walmart clothespin. So they're a lot smaller. Now I'm just, I don't know. I, I feel like these will take an adjustment but I'm anxious to give it a try. So that's one variety I'm gonna be testing out. And again, I will link that product. And then this is not clothespin, but this is something I picked up. It's a bag that you can wear with clothespins in. So I have like a hook bag that kind of hangs on my line and I walk back and forth to it. And I've been intending to make like an apron of some sort with clothespins because sometimes when I have pockets, I'll throw like big pockets, I'll throw some clothespins in and it's just a lot better. So I thought I'd pick this up and try it. You just put it like across your body and you fill it up with clothespins. There's a drawstring if you want to close it. Um, this was $9.90. So we'll see how that works. It's got kind of, um, like a wire inside or something that holds the opening open. So I'm gonna test that out as well. I'll let you know what I think of that. And I'll also link that in the description. This was available in a couple different colors, or I should say a few different colors, but I chose the purple. So here is the second variety of clothespins I bought. This is a pack of 60 for 17 and something. Um, so definitely cheaper than the other clothespins. Um, this is how they come. Labels on them. Uh, let's open them up. So we've got these unclipped here. They, they come in three colors, kind of a greenish, very pastel greenish, a beigey, grayish, and then a light pink. Um, these are a different style of clothespin that I have never seen anything quite like this um, little mechanism here where it would normally be like a spring. Um, I don't know about these. I don't, I'm just not sure right now looking at them. Um, I'm gonna have to test them out, see how it goes. They're easy to open and shut. They do fit in your hand pretty well. Um, here's how they compare to the other clothespins. So I'd say about they're about average size. Then we're gonna have to test them. So I've got a load of wash hung up out here with these special Amazon clips. 30 of them for $14.40. I've got some real heavy, heavy duty jeans here hung up with two clips. 
and as you can see I've got a string of t-shirts here hung. I've got some infant and toddler clothing hung with just one clip and um, a large bulky item here with, with uh, two clips. I want to bring your attention to the fact that it is a extremely windy day. These lawn chairs that I have here temporarily have already blown over and quite honestly this is a day that I would hang stuff inside because it's really windy. So um, this is quite the test. We're really putting them to the test here. See what these little guys got in them. So I will bring you back in, I don't know, three or four hours when this is dry and we will see uh, see how, how everything held up. Hanging was a breeze. I used this little um, thing. I loved it. I uh, put all, had a total of 60. I have a few left. Um, now it is a cold day here. I'd say it's upper 40s. So uh, it's going to take a little longer to dry than it would like say it was summer. But um, so we'll come back. We'll see what's still hanging here and we'll see how taking it down is. It's been a few hours and everything is still hanging. I want to bring your attention to this. It's actually blown so much it's like wrapped around and these clips are still holding so these are durable no doubt about that they do their job even on a windy day so here we go i have a load of clothing hung with the plastic clips that I'm trying from Amazon. These, um, they were, they were easy to almost like palm open. Like you didn't even always need your fingers where the metal clips you specifically needed your fingers. Uh, the thing I noticed most about these clips was that when I was holding several of them in my hand, they were slipping not against my skin, but against each other. It sounds kind of strange, but they really slip against each other. Not against your skin, but against each other. So these are difficult to juggle more than one in your hand at a time. But as you can see, you can kind of palm them open. Um, it's a rainy day here, so I have everything inside. But... They seem to be holding pretty snug. I have a large double fleece blanket and they seem to be holding it well. So as I said, I will link these and you can be the judge uh, between the two. Now I will say, I have noticed this one twice. This is a bulky uh, chunk here. This is kind of a fleece and this is a sweatshirt and they're overlapped slightly here. And I've noticed it's kind of popping off a little there. These are definitely not as durable and as sturdy and as strong as the metal clips but they do offer a nice option of kind of palming them open. If you don't have as much dexterity in your fingers or, you know, your fingers get stiff, these don't require as much pressure. And like I said, you can palm them open almost. So I could see, I can see advantages with these as well. But as for me, I think right now I'm leaning towards the little metal clips. I like that they take up less space and then I can fit a lot of them in the bag. These, I wouldn't be able to fit a whole lot more than the 60. And really when I do laundry and I hang it out, uh, most of the time I'm doing two loads with a large washer and I need more than 60 clips. And um, it's the brittle plastic thing that really bothers me that is generally my issue. So I think I'm going to try the metal ones out. I'll keep these and use these as well, but I'm going to order some more of those metal clips and really give them a go this summer. 
and see how they go. So I hope this video was a help to you. A little review, a little opinion on these different clothespins. Good luck.